Hey everyone, did you know there is a brand new emulator on the iPhone iPad called Folio and it's going to have the capability of running 3DS games on this device. However, the 3DS capability is not yet available, it's currently in review, so I'll be making a video about that. But today I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and download and install Folio and get Nintendo DS games like Pokemon White working on this device. Although we can't play 3DS games at the moment, what we will be able to do is to actually load up Nintendo DS games, NES games, and GBA games as well. And this is going to be an interesting alternative to something like Delta or Retro Arch. And what's unique about this is that it's going to have a 3DS core integrated into this in the very near future, possibly in the next few days. So if you want to be able to get access to this kind of emulator right now, and this is going to be the emulator for you. I'm just going to show you some of the quirks with this, how to load up the BAS files, how to load up the actual ROMs themselves, because it's a little bit unintuitive. And show you how to get these emulated games working as well as possible on your iPhone or iPad. The first thing that we're going to do is to tap on the App Store icon and then go into the App Store. Then we're going to type in Folium into the search bar. And then this is going to take us here. So at the moment, at the time of recording, it's not on the front page of the App Store listing, but I'm going to leave a link to this in the description as well. But basically, if you scroll down until you find Folium, this is a paid multi-system app by Jared Norwell. And this is $4.99 at the moment. It's well worth it to support the developer who's going to be adding 3DS emulation into this. So what I'm going to do is make a purchase of this and then add it to our account. And then once that's done, we're going to press the open button here and then open this up. So the first thing it's going to ask us for is the BAS files for Grape, the Nintendo DS Core. So for legal reasons, I can't show you where to download these files from. However, I'm just going to show you what they do look like in the files app. So here, this is what the files all look like. You should be ripping these from your own genuine Nintendo DS. So we have bar7.bin, bar9.bin, biosgba.rom, firmware.bin, and key.cfg. So once you have all these files ready, we can go ahead and link them up in Folio. So here, for example, bar7, I'm going to import them from our files app. So just go to my downloads, which, and then find my folder. And then I've got my bar7, and then my bar9 the same deal then my firmware import this as well firmware.bin and then all of those files have now been imported so the actual way to add roms into the library is slightly unintuitive so if you press the plus button here and you navigate to your rom for example your nds file that's not going to work correctly so what i'm going to do is show you the correct method for adding games onto folium so what we need to do is go into our files app and then we need to find the file which is ready to put into our Folium emulator. And uh, the one that we have here is this Pokemon NDS file. So you should be grabbing this from your own Nintendo cartridge. So make sure you do, you do that using something like a flash cart, using a Nintendo cartridge that you actually own. And uh, what we want to do here is basically copy this or move this into the correct folder. So here I'm going to press the move button. And then we're going to navigate onto our phone, onto on my iPhone here. And then if you can't find it, it's this location here on my iPhone. So tap on that. And then basically we're going to go into the Folium section here. So just tap on Folium. And then we want to put it inside Grape. And then we want to put it inside ROMs. And then move it into this folder. So tap Move. And it's been moved into that folder. So if I navigate to that now, go to Folium, Grape, ROMs my NDS file is there. So what I'm going to do is go back into Folium. Go into the Folium app. Now if I just do a refresh, I'll see that this version of the game is now loaded up here. I can tap on NDS. Now Folium has now loaded up a Nintendo game. So anyway, that is the basic gist of how to get Nintendo DS games working on the emulator called Folio on iOS through the App Store. Once Nintendo 3DS emulation becomes available through Folio on the App Store through this particular emulator, then I'll be sure to do an update video. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.